Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Oh, I had to take that phone call. Uh, we're in good neighbor. Well, let's find this doctor real quick. Well, well, well. It's the detective. Oh, you're Finn. Checking down another wayward husband. Hey, you're pretty cool in that new Star Wars movie, Finn. Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? He's just smarter you, than huh? you. Valentine's new dick in training. Hey, this dick doesn't need any training. We're hiring, but, uh... I don't think you'd measure up. Don't be like that. You just got the look of someone who's in the market for a little insurance. I can handle my shit. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me insurance. I'm not interested. Now don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. No, you yeah. hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody have, have No. Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Huh. Doc, what do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said love Good. I don't have to blow a hole in him. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Let me just do some drugs while you're all watching. Oh, fuck. Now, why'd you have to go? My heart over here. This place is rough. Right, brother? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I need to go um, talk to a person. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah, fine. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. No, I wouldn't. Don't let really. this incident taint your view of our little community. <laughs> no one Maybe around the cares. The people for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool. And you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. The one guy with a knife? Is that who's in charge? Am I in charge now? Am I in charge? I'm no longer in charge, am I? Alright. It's not that fucking plot armor. I can't kill the guy because he's got fucking things. All right, let's find this doctor. Excuse me, everyone. Yeah, I don't know who they are either. Let's let's memory den this place up. Uh, I'm looking for a doctor. How'd you get in here in front of me? May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Mm. Smooth, Nick. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. That's why the dang thing is down there, because there's a downstairs. Oh, that's a lot of light coming out of this room. Dr. Doctor? Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. I don't know, is it? Oh. It's always sarcasm. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse death itself. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Mm -hmm. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile... A I've already done the defiling. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. <laughs> Continue. I mean... Technically, the corpse was defiled already. See? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. Stop moving around, you Nick. need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? <laughs> Igor, fetch me the brain. Do they know who Dr. Frankenstein is? No, I will not. No, <laughs> do you have it? Oh, she's like all serious. How much of the brain do you need exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is. Wait. <laughs> it's a good question. That's what the fuck is that? And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. What do they look like, Nick? From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. 
Uh, are we going to put it inside of Nick? Oh, shit. So the brain is still good, right? Possibly. It's going to turn evil on me. There's no sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tissue. Injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term yeah, You know, putting in a I brain that's someone else's yours? With listing what? The risks. Someone else's don't inside bother. yours? I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. Jeez, Nick. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm, fresh toast. <laughs> it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Well, it's pretty funny. Ready, Mr. Just sit down. If I start there's two of these. Like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? And then also there's two of these. Am I gonna have to like Let's plug see. into him to talk to him? Oh sweet, Rob go find Uh includes the grognut barbarian holotape. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. Are you feeling any different? A lot of flashes. Shit. Static. I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one, one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the But game. if we send a person in, they can bypass the lock. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, but I'm gonna take all your shit first. You know, see, notice how everything turns red right after I take it? It's a little annoying and weird and uh, glitchy. That's not a thing. That's just some dirt. All right. Speak up now. Uh, a lock? How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding the zip all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. 56 AES. Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able Fuck, to... Fuck, I had a feeling. But... What if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions. Why are they called loungers? You act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. No sarcasm. Nick and I are going to share a mind. Yeah, I'm not going to see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Thanks, Nick. Um, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the internet. Why do doctors have that weird thing on them? Sure, let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. All right, this is going to be weird. On the other side. Uh, this is going to be weird. Get me in this stupid thing. No, I have to go in this one. Oh, hey, it's got TV in here, at least. Excuse me, I'm a little tired. I'm standing by. Initiating brainwave this thing got HBO. Transplant on the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. Thanks, it's Doctor. you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. I'm holding on. What's the TV for, really? Seriously. Oh man, I'm not gonna have my guns in your memory, am I? Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. Is this what brains look like inside? I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Mm, cool. Oh, it's actually like there. a thing. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. How do you know it's the earliest memory? Is there a way to tell memories from age? Oh, this is a weird old thing. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Oh, dude, can I take your grognax? Me and mom. Oh, that's weird. People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. Okay. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? 
All you wanted to do was read your grognacks. I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I oh. ended up running away. Dad problems? Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Is this you narrating your life? I don't you know? know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. Okay, this is weird. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I can't crouch in your memory. I never knew what happened to her after I left. Oh, that's tough. I didn't want to know. Not then. Okie dokie. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. No, it's just child there problems. There used to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Okie dokie. Oh, he tried to settle down with a lady. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. That's not true. I know you, when I'm happy. You may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus on the petty bullshit or next job. I want to see your face. I can't crouch in your memory. It's only looking back. I can jump in your memory. What comes after Window. That you really understand. Hey, it's That's what a baby. Like. It's going to be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with a baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. You got to. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. Uh. Uh, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. Because I know how to do shit. Years, they don't. As soon as I make the connections I need, then I can give you anything you want, and little Mary too. That's a pretty intact-looking Golden Gate Bridge. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, biology knew. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. For the she, huh? Standing oh. around, looking tough. Okay. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's going to be great here. Oh, what happened to this, this dude? This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. That's always weird. I promise. I got a gun. It's going to keep it I safe. Know, Connie? Connie? We're going to be really happy here. We Connie are. Kellogg? You'll see. Conrad Kellogg? That's no, okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you oh, to the next son of a memory. fuck. No. I was waiting for them to stop talking. I could, mm. Can I jump off? No, I can't jump off. Memory Railroad. Okay, don't wait for them to stop talking. Now I know if I want to hear his fucking commentary on his life. 